Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another interesting video where I review vintage fountain pens. Today I have for you a real beauty, one of the oldest fountain pens in my collection. It is a recent buy. I will uh, tell you first the price of this beautiful, beautiful metallic fountain pen. Well, I was fortunate enough to buy this fountain pen at a cost of 150 lays, approximately 30 euros or 35 American dollars. And let me tell you why I bought this so cheap. So this fountain pen, unfortunately, it was sold without its original nib. I presume that it had originally a gold gold nib. What I know about this fountain pens, guys. So I have some very important clues. They are engraved on the cap. I have US found pen, fountain pen company, New York. 18 carat field okay okay so it's an 18 carat for uh, gold field uh, gold it is patented the date june 24 1919 and i think the name of the model is victor Like you see, it is a metallic fountain pen. It is a laminated fountain pen. It has this ring top, so it could be wear around your neck on the necklace or something. It has its clothing cap. Unfortunately, it lacks the gold nib. And uh, this is the reason I bought it so cheap. But what of the, one of the most interesting aspects is that we have a telescopic fountain pen. Let's just look at this beauty, guys. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And another trait of this particular model is that I have this small, small uh, depositing, let's say, cavity you can uh, put yourself here some uh, medicines and it's quite quite a nice interesting feature so guys like i told you the u.s fountain pen company made a telescopic pen it appears that they made this fountain pen for parker and uh, it is a very rare to find a telescopic pen that is fully marked Parker Fountain Pen. This is the so-called model Parker 70. I uh, didn't see, I searched on the internet and unfortunate, I couldn't find information about the Parker 70. But I know that the Parker 70 is a rare gold field telescopic ring top. It has 10.6 centimeters long and it extends to 12.3 centimeters, is excluding the cap, which is not designed to post into the barrel. So in, in its intact form, it has a curved feed with number trade lucky curve nib on it. So in order to make it functional, I must find a number three lucky curve nib. So this is the fountain pen. It is uh, quite, quite nice. I'm uh, sorry guys, but I don't know how to fill it. 
and maybe you will help me in the comments by telling me the feeling mechanism of this beautiful beautiful piece as a trait you can see this large large breathing hole and first i thought to myself that it had a special clip because it, it seems to me quite large but i found the same example on uh, page on um, auction page and it had the same uh, breathing hole on the cap and interesting it was sold without the nib so maybe this example that i'm holding in my hand was at one point in its life at that auction site and uh, in a mysterious way it uh, came to be in my possession what can i say guys it shows a fountain pen from the 1920s early 1920s in this beautiful beautiful shape if you didn't knew you will say it's a fully gold fountain pen they did a wonderful job and um, this job of laminated gold 18 karat gold you can see it stood the test of time how many hands have uh, touched it but it is uh, again a beautiful beautiful fountain pen I believe it's the only fountain pen in my collection with this telescopic trait. I certainly have other fountain pens from the 1920s, but this is the one and only fountain pen with that telescopic interesting, interesting mechanism. The only trouble is I don't know how to fill it. I don't have the original nib. But I assure you this will be part of my collection till I will find a number three nib. So not many information about this beauty. This was my short presentation. It is not a proper review without a writing sample, guys. I don't know about the quality of the Parker number three nib. Maybe it is a rigid nib. I would certainly love to find it with uh, a nib from uh, this the u.s fountain pen company from new york some people think that this is a 1925 model i certainly dated at the beginning of the 1920s and uh, again guys for 15 dollars i think uh, i got it uh, i'm sorry for thirty dollars yes thirty dollars or 30 euros or 35 dollars i think i got it for a steal so remember it only lacks the nib which i i'm pretty sure i will find as soon as i can and if you have information please leave them in the comments what do you know about the parker 70 model I will leave also its uh, dimensions on the screen, which I will compare with the dimension that I found on the web about the Parker 70. And um, I will show it to you next to other models. It isn't fair, but let me show you next to a popular model i reviewed this model this is a pelican pelicano of course a different different fountain pen but i will show it just as comparison for you to see the relatively small dimension of our fountain pen so you can see for yourself guys and you will uh, read on the screen the actual the actual dimensions of it so first of all in this state second of all in this state and third fully fully open like this i'm not so sure maybe you can yes you can uh, write with it like this and uh, 
you can even make it smaller for smaller hands for me i think this is sufficient but i also think i would appreciate a larger larger piece remember this isn't designed to be posted maybe if i take this off let me see let me try to play with it for you guys okay you can see this rod here maybe i can let's see if i can rotate it like this no definitely not designed to be kept so guys this was my review of a wonderful i would call it a museum piece because how often can you find on the market a telescopic fountain pen from the beginning of the 1920s although it lacks the nib it is in perfect wonderful shape it has the original feet so only the nib is missing and maybe it needs some work on the feeling mechanism again i don't know if it is a safety pen a deep pen uh, that type of pen a retractable uh, that uh, has that system that retracts the nib i'm not so sure about the feeling mechanism but uh, i'm pretty sure that this is a rare rare and interesting piece which will be the proud of every collector out there of course i'm sorry guys it is not for sale i don't sell fountain pens from my collection or are rarely sell them but uh, almost immediately i get that remorse of the collector that sold the rare piece that definitely uh, it's a chance of one of the one in a million to return back to its collection or at least a similar model so i pref prefer to uh, leave them as they are i uh, certainly look for good restorers but sometimes i prefer to buy new acquisition no matter how their state uh, of uh, functionality they're in and i like to preserve them maybe i will use the parts from for other projects but i like to keep them as original as i can guys thank you for your time i hope you've enjoyed this presentation of this interesting interesting metallic fountain pen if you are new to this channel please subscribe I promise that I will deliver new and exciting unboxing and reviews of all the new fountain pens. Uh, thank you again for your time, guys. I want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are. Please stay safe in this pandemic time. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye-bye, take care, and God bless you all, my friends.